everyone! Ever since I made my 10 quick and easy hairstyles for short hair video, a few people have asked how I keep my hair looking so healthy. Thank you very much for saying my hair looks healthy. So that I thought today I would film for you a hair care routine and talk you through all the products I use and the process I went through to get my hair to this stage. I've got a lot of products to talk about so I'm just going to jump straight into it. If you didn't know, last year I actually donated my hair. My hair was really long, like almost down to my hips. And I cut off, I think it was between 12 and 14 inches of my hair. And when I cut it, it was about here. Since then, I've just kept getting shorter and shorter. When my hair was long, it was not in good condition at all. It looked all right, but really it was so broken. It was full of split ends. It was not having a great time. So if like past Han, your hair is long, it's not healthy, and you're on the verge of donating it, I would say bite the bullet, that's the best way to make your hair healthy is to give it a good chop. Even if your hair isn't long enough and you just have a few inches cut off, it will help your hair so dramatically. I noticed such a difference as soon as I cut my hair it was so much healthier, it was fuller, it was thicker, it was shinier. Cutting off a big chunk of hair was the thing that sort of got the ball rolling into getting my hair a lot more healthy. I have two top tips to get your hair healthy or maintain it. The first is regularly switch up your shampoos. Do not use the same shampoo and conditioner all the way through until it runs out. Depending on how regularly you wash your hair, I wash mine every other day, or if I'm not doing anything, then every three days. At some point, I do want to train my hair so that I can wash it less. But if you constantly use the same one, your hair will get used to the products and the benefits of the shampoo or conditioner will no longer work on your hair by the time it runs out. So if you constantly switch them up, your hair doesn't get used to it and you will always see the benefits that the shampoo claims to give. I noticed a massive difference ever since I started doing that. So that is my first tip. The second tip is heat protection. Oh my goodness. I cannot stress to you how important it is to protect your hair from heat. After I wash my hair, I do tend to dry it a little bit. If I wash it in the morning, I will dry it fully because I can't stand having wet hair throughout the day. However, if I wash it before bed, I will give my hair a quick blast and then let it air dry. I have to give it a quick whiz over. I can't just go to bed with wet hair because my hair holds water so well that if I didn't dry it at all, before I went to sleep, I would wake up and my hair would still be soaking wet. I always make sure that I use heat protectant before I dry my hair. The heat protectant that I use is the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray. It's hands down the best heat protectant I've ever used. I've got through so many bottles of this, I would recommend it to anybody. I do not use this sparingly. I put it all over my head and my hair loves me for it. Or if I'm curling my hair, I will use the GHG Curl Hold Spray. This is also a heat protectant and it helps hold your curls in all night, obviously, as it says on the tin. To straighten my hair, I do actually use GHGs. I think investing in a good pair of hair straighteners, if you're using them a lot, is definitely gonna benefit your hair. And just in case you're interested to curl my hair, I use the Babyliss Waving Wand. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the shampoos that I use. Right, so my hair color. My hair colour is not natural. As much as I would love it to be this colour naturally, it is a lot darker than this. It's generally quite a dark blonde. I'll put a picture in here of my natural colour. But I so much prefer it as light as possible. However, saying that, I have never used bleach on my hair. I wouldn't want to strip my hair from its natural colours and oils. That is just my personal preference. I don't fully dye my hair. I have a full head of highlights. My hairdresser uses the lightest hair dye before bleach. So say the scale went like dark blonde up to very light blonde, the next blonde would be bleach. So she uses the very lightest shade. I'm not sure what brand she uses or anything like that, so I'm really sorry about that. But she's also fairly against using bleach on the hair, which is a great thing. She really cares about hair care. I would definitely recommend trying to find a hairdresser who genuinely cares about the condition of your hair because some hairdressers will literally just do anything to it as long as you pay them, which is so bad. I don't know how they can do that, but I'm very, very happy with the hairdresser that I have. And then obviously I like to maintain the color of it. So to do that, I use silver shampoos fairly often. The first silver shampoo I used was the Bleach London Silver Shampoo. I used to think this was absolutely amazing. So much so that I invested in the conditioner. Don't get me wrong, these products are really good, but then I discovered the Provoke Touch of Silver Brightening Shampoo. And I personally prefer this to the Bleach London shampoo. I just feel like it works more. And generally I see a bit more of a noticeable difference with this one. But when I do use this, I will also use the Bleach London Silver Conditioner. So these two are more of a pair to me than these two. I still use this one occasionally because I like to switch it up a bit, but more generally I will lean towards this one. So if you're also trying to get your hair more of a whitey blonde, 
I would recommend this. However, I think it works more if your hair is dyed. So if you have like a natural moussey blonde color, I'm not sure using this would help you too much. It might help a little bit. I mean, you could try it out, but I think generally it's more of a color enhancing shampoo. I don't use my silver shampoos or the silver conditioner every time I wash my hair. I will use that probably every other time or every few times I wash it. So at the minute when I am not using those, I am using these two products. These are the Lee Stafford Coco Loco shampoo and conditioner. I originally purchased these because I heard that coconut oil is really good for your hair and obviously these products contain coconut. These have definitely made my hair more shiny and it definitely feels a lot healthier for using these. I have definitely witnessed the benefits of these especially that it makes your hair more moisturized and sometimes along with using these I will use this. This is the Provoke Touch of Silver Color Care Shampoo. So this is kind of like a maintenance shampoo for the brightening shampoo. So generally I will use this shampoo then this shampoo, and then this conditioner. Another aspect of my hair care routine is using oil on my hair. Before I switched over to the Coco Loco shampoo, which obviously contains coconut oil, I was using this little pair. These are the OGX Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely love these. I think they're about six pounds each in boots. And if I remember rightly, these made my hair feel so soft. I would also definitely recommend those. Argan oil is great for your hair. If you can put any form of argan oil on your hair, definitely try to. And the the other form of oil I put on my hair, I use this every single time I wash my hair. So after I get out the shower, I will brush through my hair. Side note, the hairbrush that I use is the Mason Pearson hairbrush. As hairbrushes go, I know these are fairly expensive. They are so worth the money. They're so soft and gentle on your hair. They don't damage it. They don't have the little bobbles on the end, kind of like a tangle teaser. They have both plastic bristles and silicone bristles, as you can see, the white ones and the black ones. I would 100% say these are worth investing in. When I come out of the shower, I will brush my hair with this. Then I will use just one pump of this oil on it. This is the Mark Hill Miracoilous, I think that's how you say it, Moroccan Argan Oil. I will just put one pump of this in the palm of my hands, rub my hands together and use it through the ends of my hair. This is what adds the shine to my hair. It can be used as like a styling product or a finishing product. I would say I use it kind of as a mixture of the two. And then after I have put the oil on the ends of my hair, I spray my entire hair with the heat protectant spray and give it a quick dry. When it comes to styling my hair, I have two holy grail products. The first is this. I will sometimes put this in my hair before I dry it. This is the Aussie Awesome Volume and Conditioning Mousse. So again, I will squirt a little bit of this onto my palm, rub my hands together and work it evenly through my hair. And then when you dry it, it makes it so much more voluminous. I absolutely love it. Also love the smell of this, it smells so good. And my other holy grail product is the Aussie Miracle Recharge Moisture Conditioning Spray. That was a mouthful. <laughs> this is a leave-in conditioner with macadamia nut oil in it. So again, the oil's really good for your hair. I use this pretty much whenever, whether my hair is wet or dry, you can use this. So you just spray it in, comb it into your hair, and you are good to go. Also, smells amazing. And the final product that I'm gonna mention today, this hasn't actually helped my hair on the route to recovery, but this is a recent discovery of mine and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. This is the Collab Sheer and Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is in the classic London fragrance. Love the smell of it. I used to be a Batiste girl through and through, but this one doesn't leave white marks in your hair, which I absolutely love. Again, I will use this to style my hair to make it a lot more voluminous and it's absolutely great. Also, if I can, I like to leave a few days between washing my hair. So if I'm on my final day, I will use this. I am by no means a hair expert. I don't sleep with silk pillows or anything like that. But I just thought I'd let you know all the products I have used to get my hair in better condition. I am very happy with the condition of my hair right now. My hairdresser has told me it's the healthiest it's ever been and I am loving the softness of it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so if you're also hoping to get your hair in better condition, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. You may or may not know by now that I am uploading on this channel twice a week on both a Monday evening and a Thursday evening. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss one of my little videos because I know you wouldn't want that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.